30 bucks, it goes to a great cause. And Kevin C., who donated 10 bucks, just wanted to put my money towards Phoenix's resurrection. Oh, okay. So yeah. wants to see that red hair come out. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, so 6,000. A red yeah. erection? Heh. <laughs> Heh. <laughs> he said a red er erection. Red, red, er uh, okay. That's so yeah, 20 I bucks. I don't think you thought that one too. TSM <laughs> wondered by the guy who donated 20 bucks. Oh, man. All right. And then, uh,. Somebody said TSM won and donated twenty dollars, but they didn't. They actually lost. The teammate, congratulations to that. Very well yeah, fought game. Teammate played that Golden game. Glue. Yeah, making it work in the mid lane. That. And uh, so wait, are we seeing Peter versus Peter versus Phoenix? Phoenix. Coach versus the player. Yeah. Oh, hype match here. And uh, let's go ahead and refresh one more time because we were pretty damn close last and, time we uh, checked. So there. wait, are we seeing? We versus might have it. Phoenix. My god, if we're at 5,500, that means that I will have to eat the red pepper thing. Whoa! Okay. We're still there right there! $27 Come on. away from forcing me to ingest some chili pepper thing made of ghost peppers. So that Alienware is actually being drawn right now, guys, so stay tuned for that. We'll see who's gonna. Walk away with an awesome new set, but in the meantime, like we said, twenty-seven dollars to get Josh Cam, Brittany Brown, and Paco to eat that ghost pepper hot sauce. It's gonna be uh, pretty brutal to watch. I personally can't wait for it. Um, so make sure you go ahead and, and push out those donations so we can close that gap. And then, of course, just five hundred twenty-seven more dollars, and Phoenix dyes Phoenix? his hair red live on the stream. And then we'll get to see that in all of its fiery glory on stage at the LCS. I'm excited so it for that. takes on Bjergsen in the mid lane. Man, that would be awesome. I wonder if the red hair will go well with the uh, the Team Liquid gear. He'll be a we'll red, white, and blue. Red, he'll white, be, and blue. He'll be a, will Ameri so American. Yeah. We'll Americanize him. He already had his 4th his fourth of July celebrations here. All right, so we have Lulu versus Nocturne now in this? Oh, okay. So the Alienware was actually won by an anonymous donor, so unfortunately we can't announce who won it, but we have their email. Not going to disclose that <laughs> over Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> I am anonymous. Um, so, yeah, so congratulations. Whoever you are, be expecting an email from us, uh, and then we'll get your shipping details and get that computer forwarded your way. Yeah. Uh, congratulations again. But... And currently we are at $2,473, which means, again, we're $27 away from the next goal. Very, very close. Yeah, if each of you watching donates a dollar, we will get like 50% of our current donation amount. <laughs> I know, holy crap. And, uh, oh, we got some more donations coming in. We have Ooh, Go Demana, I don't know how to say that name. But he has donated 25 bucks for Timo or Riot. And, uh, and then we got a Britney's Browns has donated twenty seven dollars and with the comment hashtag get wrecked hashtag TDK win. What is it, Britney's Browns? <laughs> Interesting name. Nice. Okay, so wait, what is the donation total at now then? Could we bring up the donation total? There we are. $5,525. So $475 left to get to Phoenix and Dias here. Yeah. Uh, and meanwhile, we have to... We're right there, guys. Eat the, eat the pepper thing. Oh, God. All right, Brittany, you ready? Are you ready for yeah, so eating the ghost pepper Very thing? shortly following yeah, this 1v1 game between Phoenix and Peter, we will have them... Okay, we're going to have a very short post-game interview while we get the hot sauce ready, and then we will watch these guys do that. Uh, but let's get back into this action. We've kind of been, uh, you know, neglecting the action that's going on. We see Peter's actually taking a, a decent bit of damage here, Phoenix. Uh, utilizing that spell shield that he has on his E to try to mitigate as many of these glitter lances as humanly possible. See, the crystalline flask has come through for Phoenix, so he's really just playing that sustained game. Not sure what runes he is running currently. Might have a little bit of life steal in that mix there. Not too terribly certain, but uh, I guess we'll see. Both of these guys running that flash kick. Uh, going to be looking for the aggressive play. Actually, Phoenix going in. Peter immediately having to flash away. Pops his ignite as onto uh, Phoenix there, but not going to be able to find the kill. So Phoenix now with that flash and ignite still there. 
has the pressure on the board. Chugging down those last mana potions, trying to get as much as he possibly can so he can just sustain this damage out. Peter, meanwhile, just sitting back, firing off those auto attacks, using those glitter lances to try to uh, get as much damage on a Phoenix as he can, but it's uh, sort of an uphill battle right now. It's uh, not looking too hot for Peter. He has that last bit of regen going through the pot, now completed. So just going to be relying on the Doran's ring to sustain his mana. His HP is going to completely be on his standard uh, health per five. First backs might be coming out shortly as both of these guys have exhausted all of their sustained resources. So next one to go low. Uh, unless we see, actually, it's going to be the flash in here from Phoenix. He has those chains down, gets the fear off, but the turret's there. And a lot of damage firing back from Peter now. He's just weaving in those auto attacks, trying to get those hits. Now Phoenix very low on mana. Peter still with a pretty hefty uh, sum of it. Using that Doran's Ring to get that sustain in. Now Phoenix going to have to peel back here. Picks firing off those extra auto attacks to really chip down. But Peter, he's like one hit from dead, has to peel back. Fires off the Glitter Lance, the Spell Shield will not eat that one. I think that's going to be the recall coming out from both of these guys. We can already see Phoenix going to do that one. And now Peter uh, doing what he can to get that uh, CS advantage here. But going to have to recall quite quickly. Now if Phoenix was level 6, it'd be quite good for him because he could always just use his uh, Nightmare Ultimate, zip his way over onto Peter and get that kill. Not quite going to be uh, happening just yet. Only level 4. We'll see that one coming through for a, uh, a few minutes here. But Peter has established a little bit of a lead for himself. He's up a level currently, which is looking good for him. It's about half a level, I should say. You can see Phoenix now coming back in. What has he picked up? Two Doran's Blades. Uh, and that's going to match the two Doran's Ring pickup here for Peter. So pretty even, but still sustain, sustain uh, in the hands of... Uh, a Phoenix, I believe, with this Nocturne, just because he can eat those abilities with his Spell Shield, and he's got that Crystalline Flask. Now Phoenix returning to the lane, as you can see here. Already taking a bit of harass. Peter doing what he can. He's going to have to continually lay on the pressure if he wants to come out on top of this one. CS likely not going to be the decider in this matchup. We can see uh, 35 CS on the side of Phoenix. And I think it's 50 over on the side of Peter, it looks like. So doing a good job of uh, keeping ahead, but he's only halfway uh, to victory here. Now Phoenix, you can see, taking a lot of damage. That Glitter Lance will connect. Phoenix unable to eat that one with a Spell Shield. This Nocturne selection, maybe not. Playing out for, uh, you know, the Cod in the mid lane. He could have gone Azir. Decided not to do that. Wanted to change it up, play something a little bit... Uh, more Keen-esque, I guess I could say, with this Nocturne mid. So, bring in that one out here, but it's really suffering, stuck underneath this tower, cannot even go out to try to pick up those few little bits of CS uh, for fear of just getting glitter lanced out and chunked down by Peter. And we can see, finally able to trade back a little bit of damage, just throws out that shadow, but immediately just has to back off yet again. Peter has complete control over this matchup. You can see that pick shield. Not even needed this skill shot does not connect, but even so, it's a pretty hefty shield for this point in the game. Those three Doran's blades are uh, giving him a decent amount of economical AP. So the shield's pretty nice and should be able to eat a bit of that, uh, a good amount of that damage that Phoenix can output right now. You can see level 7 and 6 have been hit by both of these guys, so it's going to be that much harder for Phoenix to come out on top of this one with that wild growth in the pocket of Peter. Uh, even if he engages with the Nightmare, I don't know if he's going to be able to have the damage to take him down. Flash Ignite 
is up right now for Peter. So this would both come up for him. Phoenix not having his flash quite just yet. You can see immediately just getting Bully right back off of these minions. He's at 49 to Peter's uh, 69. It's about to hit 70. There it is. So over a 20, he goes in with the ultimate. Wild Growth comes across immediately. Now Peter's going to try to fire back using, the, using those auto attacks to weave in the damage that Phoenix cannot mitigate with his spell shield. Not too much is going to come out of that one, but both ultimates are down now. So looking good for Peter. Phoenix goes in. He's trying to get that fear off. Good amount of damage coming through. Terrified there. On to Peter. He's on the run. So much damage coming across, across from Phoenix. This is surprising, but the Ignite comes across. Now Phoenix completely out of mana. Peter trying to get in here. Still has that flash available. Has Glitter Lance. Can he get the damage? I don't think it's going to happen. Sorry, sorry. Did not get the help picks in time to uh, try to effectively finish off Phoenix. But lands a nice cross-section Glitter Lance there. We'll chunk him down even more. Phoenix is going to have to recall soon, but... If he does, he has to worry about his turret going down. It's already hovering around 55% HP. This is uh, not looking good. Looks like we might have the coach beating out the player in this matchup. Oh, Phoenix taken so low. Will not go down, however. But he's going to have to recall. And this is the time for uh, Peter to really shove in this lane as best as he possibly can. He has a decent amount of damage still. Or a decent amount of mana still in his pocket, and that turret has taken so much damage. I don't think the Phoenix can get back in time. That's going to be Peter coming out with the victory. Coach Triumphs player. Wow. All right. What a play coming out there from Peter. Asserting his.